Come back with me to about 1853 in England, in London. This was the heyday of the spiritualist movement, seances where people wanted to contact the dead. Well, Michael Faraday, one of the most famous scientists who ever lived, invented the electric generator, electric motor, and he was intrigued by what he heard about the goings-on at such a seance. So he went to one, and he found that the sitters were around the table, and it seemed that when they had their hands close to that table, the table would move. The table would tilt, and even levitate. And this was intriguing. He thought that there had to be some fraud that was involved in the levitating table. And indeed, it turned out that in some cases, there was. But he looked and he looked, and in some other cases, no matter what, he couldn't see any kind of trickery. And let people had their hands on the table, and the table still moved. He didn't understand what was going on. Well, he was a very clever scientist, of course, and he devised a way to test this. He glued some cardboards onto the table, and the cardboards could move without the table moving because he wanted to show that the force was actually coming from people's hands. They weren't conscious of it. Eventually, this was called the ideomotor movement. And he thought that the people wished so much that they could see the spirits, that they actually made the spirits appear, but it was by their own hand motion. And he showed this with a clever design of cards on top of a table, and that the cards moved before the table moved. And the sitters became convinced of this. It put a dagger into the spiritualist movement, but it did not uh, end it. I mean, it is still with us today. Well, this movement that, that uh, I'm talking about, the so-called ideomotor movement, is a very interesting one. And you may have heard about this because it's involved in the pendulum movement business. You know, these things where you hold a pendulum and if it goes in one direction for a pregnant lady, she's gonna have a boy. If it goes in the other direction, she's gonna have a girl, all this kind of thing. Well, what is going on here? How is it that the pendulum can move without the hand moving? And this is called the ideomotor reaction. You can have a thought and you don't even realize it and the pendulum starts to move. And it can even shift directions without being aware of that. Really a very, very interesting phenomenon. Psychics sometimes use this, and it can be very convincing. Let me try it. Let me ask the question. Are there still quacks around? If so, let's see pendulum go to the right. If no, if spirits really do exist, go to the left. I would say that that's pretty conclusive. Spirits do not exist.